Rightio, we are doing a spacey score on Deadpool today. And uh, a lot going on on this table. And it's got a pretty thick, cranking piece of music going on. So let's see how this translates into the cabinet mode, guys. Let's give it a go. So straight off the bat, we have a pretty sort of complex table in terms of being able to see everything clearly. There's just so much colors and the lighting's got a bit of dark and light to it, but it's still pretty flat a lot of complexity in the art so yeah so far from a cabinet view perspective it's a little challenging to work out everything Yeah, and he's talking about the pinball table down in the bottom left here, guys. We're slightly cut off by my manual apron. Okay, what are we doing? Issue, we do issue one. And press launch or flip us to skip, to skip. Oh yeah, okay, this, okay, cool. So this is, all right, that was too quick. That was too quick, guys. <laughs> that was too quick. By a slow reader, or what's going on there? I tried to read that and I was like, what the heck? Again, once you know those modes though, guys, it's sort of like immaterial really, but it is interesting if they don't give you enough time to read it the first time. Right, we've got to be shooting these flashing holes in the middle. Two more. Jackpot. <laughs> What's going on here guys? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, I'm trying to I'm trying to catch the catch up with this table and because this is like music. Stop music's just full on as well. Not helping my concentration. Physics seem nice, um, not brilliant, but not not ping pongy by any means. So that's good. So you start getting a bit of a feel for this game. But man, okay, the, the music's cranking, but how long can I put up with that? <laughs> that's a question. I mean, it's quieted off a bit here, which is good. Come on, punk. Bring it out! I got your brain! See, that's how you fall down to avoid injury. Welcome to back! Ah, try to get him on there. 
from the left there. Yeah, once this music kicks in here, guys, I, I'm all I'm all for grungy, heavy guitar music. It's awesome, but it's just a little thick, like a wall of noise. Which you know, I'm having a few beers on a Friday night and jamming out to. I will be uh, grooving to it, but but still, it does settle down a bit, so that's good. At least it's not like that constantly. Oh boy, okay. Call outs are a little. A little hard in terms of it to hear them. I've got the volume down a little bit on them, which doesn't help, but the articulation on them is a little rough. Just with the grazy sort of voice they've used. That's the shot I was trying to get, but. Yeah, I'm sort of in a bit of a, a lull at the moment here, guys. I'm just trying to get something out of that shot at the moment, right? But nothing yet. Yeah, it's time to start headbanging, which, okay, goes with the theme of the music. Shot through the middle isn't very satisfying because it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything. Well, not right now, anyway. Ah. Trying to get the start, and that's a really weird shot. That too, that one on there. It sort of pushes it along, but doesn't really. There's no sound effect to it that. Oh yeah, this is a sound effect, but it's really quiet. Can't hear it over the music. Hey! Okay. Okay, Zen. You pull out these little lighting magic things on me. And you don't do enough of it in just normal gameplay. Now, I wouldn't want a table like this all the time, but it just goes to show that Zen can do lighting and it just annoys me that the main tables doesn't have really cool lighting. This is actually, that's actually pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Dead balls uh, flying around the table. Again, a little, little bit hard to pick out again just because all a bit, bit flat and complicated with all the colour. Okay. It gets weird when it jumps up the top there. It's like, where's it gone? <laughs> where's it going? Oh my god. Have I got lane rollovers up there? Oh yeah, right at the very top. Um, Trying to work out where my rollovers were. Whoops. One more time. I dare you. Ah. Oh, saved again. Wow, okay. That's generous. Yeah, I thought that shot went to the the right before and now it's to the left, but I don't mind that if it has changed. It's a good use of you know ramp diversions and stuff. You shoot a ramp one way and then you get the diverter and it goes a different way, I like that. But if, if, that's, if that's what happened, I'm not sure, guys. Now, press launch or flip is to skip, but skip what, guys? Skip what? I don't know, what am I skipping here? <laughs> no idea. All right, and then we've got this left flipper target view, so I'm supposed to try to get this small rollover on the skill shot. But again, like, how am I going to do that here? Because it's really hard from that view again. I 
that's a satisfying shot. Around the world. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, put it back though. Okay, okay, where am I? If I go up that one, yeah, they're cool, that was a start. Hell house. Increased multiplier! Alright. Really? That's all. Quite hard to get get those rollover lights worked out on the top there because they're so they're so detached. They're so detached from where the ball is. Which probably in desktop mode that's not a problem. Alright, am I gonna am I gonna get okay, why is this press launch or flippers to skip? I can I don't under, I don't understand what we're doing here. I'll I'll do the That's very, very strange. Alright, so this target skill shot thing is just a nightmare. Uh-oh. <laughs> so <laughs> impossible. Increase to do. Really? That's all. I only pressed the button for you know microsecond and it was too much for the skill shot. Okay. Alrighty. Got some things to break up. Very hard to see them guys. There they are there. Yeah, it's a quite it's quite nice physics aspects. The ball stopping, sort of almost dead, just on the on the rubbers and off the end of the flipper just before. That was good. Yeah, so there's something going on here, guys, in terms of what I should be doing. Like press launch or flippers to skip, and there's just nothing to determine what I'm supposed to be looking at there. So let me know in the comments, guys. It's something obviously I probably have to go to desktop mode. I could probably check it out. Interesting end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go again, guys. I mean, that was a fairly reasonable length game. I think it was anyway. And uh, as I've sort of mentioned before, that when time goes quickly, you know, you you're having fun. Um, but that may have well have been just a reasonably good game in terms of the, the table's not um, not a killer. I think the the ball does move pretty slow, which obviously I I, I do tend to like because it's it's really a, a mark of the the physics going on. Um, but yeah, it's sort of. makes it a bit easier. Piece of cake, exactly. Oh now, issue five, we want issue two, let's try that. And we've still got this thing again. To skip, now it might be this to skip, right? I mean, this is very cool, the, well, are you the uh, inside the pimple machine there, but we don't really get to see it in cabinet mode. Me. Interesting change up on the music. I shoot the spinners and the spinner there on the left and one on the right there and I've missed it wow okay that that didn't go that didn't go well there and there I was supposed to be uh, shooting still have no idea what's going on there if you guys want no doubt tell me in the comments below <laughs> why I get that message at the start. It's been a long time since I've played this in desktop mode, so I have no idea. Really 
really doesn't do anything when you hit that, hit that shot there. No satisfaction in it. Got a very clear call out on the hyper combo, but then all the other call outs are like very hard to distinguish. Clean up the mess again. Do that again. Now what's just those two shots? Oh no, there was one there as well. Yeah, it was just so hard to see. Ooh, shoot the spinners now. Ah. that now aren't we? Let's Shoot the ramps. There's you three you're doing. Again, not sure what the skipping is there but and yeah again I don't don't think these animations are trans are being sort of converted really for cabinet. I don't think really Zen converts any of their animations for cabinet at the moment but it's something that they probably need to look into. Remember we saw in the Star Wars uh, Starfighter Assault, we had a cut scene where the, you know, the Star Cruiser was right on the left hand side of the screen off screen. So yeah, it would be nice if they could go through and provide some adjustment. Again, so we've got some fairly generous uh, ball saves from the kickbacks. Those shots get a little bit disconcerting in cabinet mode because, again, it looks like it's something shooting down towards your flipper, like that, which again, so it's very different when it's in desktop mode. If you've lost the ball, it's around where, where the ball is. When that shot comes down there like that, it can just put you off a bit, but you know, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Ah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm never going to get one of these skill shots. No. Skill shot. Oh, I got it! <laughs> That's so funny. Never going to get it. He gets it. I like just tap. I, yeah, she's laughing too. I uh, just tapped it very quickly to get that skill shot. And just like there's no skill in it whatsoever. There's no way I'd be able to do the subtleties between the different, um, you know, positions of it. But fair enough though, you've got to lose the ball somehow in this game and um, otherwise you're going to keep on going. Last ball. We're done. That's it, you're fired. No, 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 don't you start playing. No, I'll know. Of course I'll know, I'm in the freaking machine. Right. Okay, guys, well, we need to do a spacey score 
for Deadpool. And what a smash on the sens sensory uh, <laughs> eyes and ears that was. Um, I'm a little perplexed, but let's go through it and just see where it lands. And then, yeah, through that discussion, we'll see how this table pans out on the spacey score, guys. So let's look at the theme. Of course, it's Deadpool, um, and Deadpool is an awesome theme. It's translated well in relation to all the elements and the art and, you know, the music is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all in there as part of the theme. So it's reasonably executed well from a theme perspective and Deadpool, and as we know, that we've got real Deadpool uh, tab uh, pinball tables out there as well uh, from Stern and um, it's a great theme so I think I'm going to give it as a theme and, and the translation I'm going to give it a 9 I think it's actually pretty good the atmosphere um, is very interesting because of the I mean, you should get the atmosphere from the music and the call outs and everything that's going on in the table and the whole just visual package of it just pulling you in not that sort of game guys it's just so it's as i said before it's just a massive front on your your senses and uh it's the atmosphere is sort of it's you're not moving into it a lot of those call outs and stuff i don't know don't don't pull me into it guys i, I almost <laughs> feel like putting up a, <laughs> a little wall in between me and the table just to deal with it um, but anyway, so I think for atmosphere, it's pretty low, funnily enough. The theme was good, atmosphere is a... I'll give it a five. Give it a five. I don't want to blow it down too low. I mean, it's still the Deadpool universe and you're in that and so forth. So, but that, that's for me anyway. Now look, the layout realism of this, this table and translating into a, a pimple table. There's a lot going on on this table, without a doubt. Um, and you know, I don't mind balls disappearing and stuff, but I do find this to be a little like the chair of the Adams family. But I didn't even see that before, right? Like that's the thing. It, it's yeah, it just seems a little bit overly complicated, um, which is a shame because you can have a really you know table with, that's comprehensive, that flows well, and you really feel like you know you're flying around. But for me personally, it just it just feels a little bit. A little bit clunky um, and a shame because it's like there is so much in it. So I'm going to give it a reasonable score for the, the comprehensiveness of it. Drop it down though because it's not well executed in my view. I'm going to give it a 7. Um, now table artwork. This is a difficult one guys because the artwork is really good. I don't know about the Deadpool's face. There's just something about it. It doesn't, doesn't grab me. Um, the artwork is is very nice i'm just sort of thinking again i think the lighting just doesn't help it you know this could be glowing here and really pop out and then some of the edges darkened off and into the ramps and stuff and i'm sure if it was translated into a real pimple that's sort of what it would look like so yeah it's um it's almost like i was trying to think if you put this as a poster would it be a good poster and it sort of is like that was brilliant. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just that it's it's. I, must, I think it's the lighting that just kills it. Um, it makes it too flat. But yeah, look, artwork itself. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Uh, artwork itself. Let's give it a give it an eight. It's because it is very good. But yeah, <sighs> let me know, guys, what you think about this artwork. And and like, I'm, I'm sure on the um, the table as it, trans it translates in desktop mode. Just looks really different, but seeing it top down like this, it's just an onslaught. Um, so animations, well, there's lots, lots of animations going on in there. Um, you know, Deadpool's flying around the table all over the place. Uh, again, in cabinet mode, you sort of lose a little bit of that because it's not right right at you. But there's a lot of animations going on here, so it shouldn't just detract from that. Um, Yeah, I think your overall animations are, uh, are good, and there's a lot of them. 
I'm gonna give it an eight. Graphical effects, there was a few graphical effects in there that were, were pretty good, pretty nice. Um, nothing again, you know, little firing thing there, but yeah, it was reasonable. I'd, I'd, give, it a, I'd give it a six uh, in terms of the effects. Now the lighting, guys, is the thing. It's the problem, eh? Because it's got like dark elements to it and light, but it's just like random through the actual artwork. It's not representative of the table. I get some dark underneath this ramp here, but then the ramp is just flat. It's just weird. Um, I can't put my finger on it, but it's not great and it doesn't help the table. And it's again, when it went into that dark mode, which again, it's it's gonna get a little bump just for the, the beautifulness of when it went into the dark mode, but that was just too dark for just normal play. But other than that, it just, it doesn't help the game and the complexity of the table. So I would give it a six. I'll give it one extra one just because it went into that nice real dark mode. Zen has got to sort this out because they have the ability to do really good lighting and they're just not getting it right. And it's a shame. And cabinet mode is showing it up, I think more so than, than ever. All right. So DMD uh, was okay. Again, had some problems reading what was going on. There's something else going on, guys, and you're sure, as I said, you're sure. Let me know in the comments what it is. What, I, what was I waiting for? What was I supposed to do? Just skip whatever it was at the start. <laughs> Can't see it in cabinet mode. Maybe it's my apron that's in the way that's causing that. Um, the DMD itself, though, there's a lot going on with it. Uh, reasonable, again, 90s sort of style. I'm, I'm just going to put it in there at about this. Oh no, I'll give it a, uh, yeah, seven. Give it a seven, it was pretty much the top of the 90s style. Uh, you get those extra points in the new color DMD, so that's where it's gonna sit in comparison to all the other tables. The music, wow, so yeah, the music, this bang overload. Uh, it does change, you know, it's, it comes not quiet here at the moment, and then it did change in, in one of those other modes, and it was pretty cool. I think maybe, Maybe if the music was just turned down again and again, having audio for each table would really help, guys, but I keep saying that. But uh, yeah, it might need to be turned down a little bit um, and you might get more enjoyment on this table, I think, because it really, it was getting in the way of me enjoying it. Uh, and also maybe after a few beers on a Friday night and you got this thing cranking, you might have a whole different experience. So, um, so I'm gonna give it, you know, it's, it's not bad music and that's the thing it doesn't translate well it's a seven it's a seven on music guys right sound effects sound effects actually i think were sort of a bit weak and really frustrating shooting that shot on the right hand side and just it was like a little thud again pre pretty much could have been just drowned out by the music but there was, there was a lot of it felt like there was a lot of me flicking around shots and not really feeling like i've hit something and really Got some gratification off the sound effects. So I think they're not well executed on this table. Just from my experience there, I'm gonna give it a five. Um, call outs, uh, as I mentioned during the game, just that the, the you know, Deadpool's voice, it's raspy, it's, you can't really hear it very well. And, and I don't know if it'll make much difference with the music down a little. I mean, it, it, it will to a point. Uh, but then there was other call-outs that were clearer and sort of louder, so the balance of them is all off. I know on an earlier game, um, I had there was a lot of uh, call-outs where there was profanity, profanities, but they were all beeped. And of course, you know, it just lessens that it's a shame that they can't, you know, Zen can't open some of that up for adults just to enjoy that a little bit more because, you know, it's all, all part of the Deadpool sort of theme right and uh and the fun of it so yeah so it lets it down quite a lot so i think the call outs here they could have been they could have been much much better i'm going to put it down as a four guys i just think it's that yeah it just didn't help at all um the flow of the table weird because you know I don't know if there was so much clunkiness, but just where the ball was going and, but that's still not really flow, that's more layout. So the flow itself, it was reasonable. I wasn't bricking a lot of shots there, guys. So if we're gonna be fair, 
I think we'd have to put it around an eight, to be honest. Like, that, it did flow. Um, that, that probably really ties in now to the shot interest because again, the shot interest for me was like, nah, where next? And um, you know, the two spinner shots on the outer orbits were sort of nice. And don't know, guys. I just have first impressions. A eh? the shot interest was, I think, marred by the fact that everything was just just a wall of <laughs> of stuff coming at me. Um, Maybe that was it, just couldn't get the concentration in to really get into the shots. A difficult one there really, I think I think it's a six on shot interest guys. Challenge, um, as I mentioned, probably had reasonable, two reasonably long games there, that's what it felt like in any way. It didn't seem like a real good challenge, like I didn't really feel like I was really challenged. Um, and that's just a feeling you get when you play these tables, like when you really play them in a cabinet mode like this, it, you, you, you get a sense for it straight out. So, this challenge there is not awesome, it's a six. Physics feel, uh, yeah, it was good, and there was a few subtle things that happened there that sort of showed some nice physics, and it wasn't ping-pongy. Um, not sure if it's an eight though, like we've, we've been doing that sort of baseline. I think it's a seven, seven on the physics guys. Fun factor, this table should be a hell of a lot more fun than it is, given the thing. It doesn't feel fun, again the music overpowers it, you don't get the, the sense of the call outs and the narration as being something funny, and it's an odd thing, odd call out where it sort of is that, but it's, it's just, it doesn't seem to come together as well. This should be fun, lots of fun call outs, you know, cool things happening. When there are some, they're, 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 I know they're there, but it's just, yeah, it's not well executed. So fun factor for me, uh, it's a four. It's just not that fun. Um, replayability, that's an interesting one because there is a lot going on here. And even though I've sort of rated it a little bit low in the fun and the challenge area, uh, it might be one that I do need to come back to because it's probably, it's just, I, I get a sense there's a lot more in here that I'm not, not getting. So, that I didn't experience through those two games. Um, so I will come back to it. And, you know, it's a reasonably looking table and all the rest of it. But yeah, it's sort of just a bit average. But I think I'll give it a... I'm gonna give it, I was gonna give it a six, but I think I'll give it a seven, which does seem pretty high, but yeah, I need to come back to just for the sheer comprehensiveness of it. Maybe if I turn the music down as well, guys, and, and just balance up the audio, then it could actually improve the game a lot. Which leads us to the Spacey's X Factor. There was a really cool thing going on there with the lighting and that, that, that punch down there. Um, it's cool from that point of view, the little pinball table, which you can't quite see because of the, the physical, um, apron here but um, and probably yeah there's just a sense that there's a little bit more to it I think the combination of just those sort of elements with this table it gets a, it's got, it needs to get a little bit of a bump I feel it needs to get a bump just for the things I haven't experienced so I'm going to give the X Factor in combination of all of those things a four guys all right, so that gives us a spacey score for Deadpool. And yeah, guys, I'll tell you, that was a bit of a strange sort of experience. But as I said, I put the replayability a little higher because we'll come back to it, we'll play it. Love to hear your experiences with this table, especially any of you that played this a lot over and over and again. Let me know what I'm missing. Um, was I harsh, too harsh on this table, guys? Let me know in the comments below and uh, look forward to the next one that's coming out very soon probably tomorrow <laughs> until then ciao for now